All right, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Farmer's Friend Haven High Tunnel. So far we've put in 19 posts on one end plus baseboards plus landscape fabric. Now we gotta do this other side. <laughs> this high tunnel is gonna be 16 feet wide by 72 feet long. Before we get started, I realized that this tree is probably gonna be in my way. We just fed the Cooney pigs and now I'm headed up here uh, because we got two days of really good rain. It hasn't rained like that in probably like five months. Last time I checked, we were at 600 gallons and it looks like we reached our max of a thousand gallons in two days. It was that much of rain from this roof. I built this shade structure specifically to hold rain and also to have picnics. I mean, collecting rain is very addicting. I mean, I can add three or four tanks on this side. Since I hooked up this rain tank, I would say it took about four days of good rain for it to fill up. The first side took me about 12 hours and let's hope that the second side, I could do a lot faster. But it all depends on if I hit a rock or not. Little tricks of the trade. This part keeps mushroom, mushrooming out with my post pounder. Uh, and I'm waiting for the part to slip over that. Farmer's friend sent me a new one. But in the meantime, I have this spare piece of bar. This is gonna slip over here. And then we're gonna pound this so that way this can get messed up. And then this won't. I'm gonna put a playlist of everything on this greenhouse high tunnel build i'll leave it down in the notes it'll be called farmer's friend haven high tunnel build playlist eh. if you didn't know it this is my uh this is my helper gas powered post driver it's pretty awesome Yeah, it looks good. It didn't mushroom out at all. That did a little bit. a little off the good thing is that we just had two days of rain so the ground's pretty soft all right so, okay so just by working and doing this is this piece is three inches So I don't have to, to keep on stopping. This is my sacrificial piece. I'm gonna mark this three inches. Do it all the way around. I'm not talking to you, pigs.
Yeah, buddy. So I have to keep stopping, checking it. I know I have to go to that line. I'm not in a terribly hurry to build this high tunnel, but yeah, I kind of still want to get it done. But as long as I get it done before spring, because eventually we're still going to have to bring in a ton of soil because where I'm putting it, it's hard as a rock because this used to be a horse arena. And that's what we're trying to do here is turn this old horse property into a pasture raised family farm of our dreams. One last pull. Don't jinx it. Hopefully there's no rocks. And the final board is flush with the corner posts. I love it. That is what I wanted. That is what I wanted. To there we go. 38 posts pounded in the ground. Oh man, that was that was a lot of work. Actually, this this side was a lot quicker than this side because. I did not hit a single rock. They went down really good. I think that two days of rain really helped with the soil and to keep it kind of soft. It's looking, it's looking, it's looking good. I like it. This part is the most tedious and also the most important part because you got to get everything square. We won't know how good of a job that we did until I start putting up those arches and seeing where, where I'm off. I'm pretty sure I'm not perfect, but we're gonna see. Man, I'm excited that at least this part is done. 72 feet all the way down. And really guys, I'm just following the directions that it came with. This is the Haven High Tunnel from Farmer's Friend. I'll leave their link down below to the high tunnel. Uh, but look at this, real directions, like real pictures, color. I didn't have to cut anything, which is great. Well, unless I, I hit a rock, well. One thing I'm happy that I got was that T-Post Pounder. That helped me a ton. Um, hard to say if it was faster. I would like to think it is faster with that. But if anything, that helped me like not, you know, doing that motion and prevent me from getting a hernia. Having this extra piece here when I'm using that, that pounder helped a ton also. And just little tricks of the trade, I guess. As you, as I'm doing 38 of eight posts, you know, after about 20, you kind of get used to it and kind of, you know, at that point, you're probably a professional post pounder. I'm thinking the next step here is putting up the arches and connecting them and then uh, putting them in place. And hopefully, hopefully all these measurements are correct. <laughs> Here you go, here's the banana peel. Here you go. 
You don't want you don't want the banana peel? Come on. They'd rather have the grain. Come on, pigs. Yeah, I would say the other side took me maybe six hours versus the first side took me 12. 